Alright guys, welcome back to Daily Porcupine. Today we're talking about five players that should leave as Antikotoko to revive the careers. The first player we have here is Kelvin Ando. Now Kelvin Ando joined as Antikotoko in July 2019 under Jetsiza Karasin. The wing has scored just one goal in six appearances for the Porcupines but have struggled to start a game for Asante Kotoko this season. It is quite clear that the player has no major role to play in Maxwell Cornelius' plans and should seek for more playing time outside the club. Permanent transfer alone, my verdict, I think he should go on loan. I still think he is talented and can still offer something to the club. Now we move to our second player, Kinsley Efa. Now Kinsley will say Efa is known for his incredible fast footworks and a knack for scoring goals in friendly games. The former Berkham Chelsea and War All Stars player has been finding it difficult to break into the first team under Maxwell Kunedu. He has so far played only three games this season. Maxwell Kunedu started him in three straight games against Wafa Dreams and Ashanti Gold but failed to impress and has been since left out of this first team in the subsequent games. The 24-year-old should also be looking to move out of the club to get playing time. Now, should he go on a permanent transfer or on a loan? My verdict, loan, because I think he has a lot to offer. He is just being complacent and will need a lot of time to settle down in the club. Now, the third player we have here is Ivan Sowosu. Now, the left back had a remarkable game against Hearts of Oak in the special competition, but has failed to find his feet under Maxwell Konedu. Reports suggest that he is on the verge of joining King Faisal on loan for the rest of the season. And I think it's a good move since he will find it very, very difficult to bench Aymoro Ibrahim or Patrick Yeboah. The fourth player we have here is Goffred Esiama. I think the player has been unlucky since joining Asante Kotoko. He scored in, in his debut game against um, Kano Pilas but went on to make only one more appearance um, before being sidelined due to injury. In my opinion, the player looks promising and could have a future at the club someday. That's if he stays fit. But for now, he needs to leave to get more playing time. So a lone move will be good for the player. And then the last player we have here, the last but not the least, is Nabi Keita. Now, following the arrival of Kwame Opoku, Nabi Keita's future as Asante Koto, Asante Kotoko is in doubt as he could be considered as surplus requirement. The player has been one of the fans' favorites and is the only Kotoko is the only current Kotoko player that has been involved in more goals against House of Oak, two goals and one assist. However, he should start looking to continue his career elsewhere as it is clear that he won't be in the first team um, or, uh, anymore. So that's all we have for today. So if you haven't seen the last video where we talk about three midfielders at Santa Kotoko as scouting in the current transfer window, Imane Sakode, Imane Keke and Latif Anabila. As in the previous video, I'm going to post the link here for you guys to see it. So that's all for now. To the next video, goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like this video. Till next time guys, goodbye.